Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Please pause for a moment of silence. Good morning, Elko Eagles. Welcome to Eagles News, keeping you up to date on all Elko things. I'm your announcer today, Jelani. And I'm Dakota. Today is Tuesday, October 12th, and we will have a day one schedule today. You will go to blocks one, two, three, and four. We will operate on a revised schedule today due to the testing. The weather today will be mostly cloudy. We will reach a high of 75 degrees and a low of 62 degrees. Happy, happy National School Lunch Week. The lunch choices today will include chicken salad, chef salad, homemade croutons, garlic breadstick, taco salad, cheeseburger, or a healthy day meal. Vegetable options are fresh cucumber slices, fresh bell pepper strips, and, and baked beans. Fruit choices are soda fresh fruit or 100% fruit juice. Elko Middle School's GSA, Gender, Sexuality, and Alliance Club will be holding its first interest meeting this coming Friday, October 15th, during advisory. GSA is open to any student of any gender or sexuality, including allies who would like to connect and support members of our LGBTQ community. GSA is a club to help create an inclusive and welcoming environment in Elko Middle School for all students. For more information, please see Ms. Grant. Okay, it's time we talk. And an evening of an education and empowerment hosted by Elko Middle School, dinner will be provided by the Verona High School Culinary Arts Department. This is a film screening and panel discussion for the film Push Out. Please reserve your tickets using the QR code for October 19th or October 21st from 6 o'clock to 8.30 p.m. Are you an eighth grader interested in attending one of high school's specialty centers next year? There are two, only two information sessions left. These sessions are virtual, but families and students will have the chance to visit centers in person during open house. Virtual session will be held at 7 p.m. tomorrow, October 13th, and again on Wednesday, October 20th. Join each session by going to www.henricoschools.us before the start of the information session. This information can also be found in school review. From September 15th to October 15th, we will honor and pay tribute to the generations of Hispanic Americans who have brought the, and continue to bring their culture, history, food, and way of life to America. Have you heard of Joan Bays? of Mexican and Scottish dis descent. Bays was not a stranger to discrimination, but that did not stop her from pursuing her natural musical talents. She became a vocalist in the folk tradition and was a crucial part of social and political changes in the 1960s. We are excited to celebrate Unity Day on Wednesday, October 20th by wearing orange. It shows that together we stand against bullying and unite in kindness, illusion, and acceptance. Please wear orange in support of kindness, illusion, and acceptance. We would love to see a sea of orange on October 20th. In sports news, the start time for tonight's basketball game at home at home against Wilder has been pushed back to 5.30 p.m. So come cheer on the Lady Eagles starting at 5.30. Our principal, Dr. Marza, has a message for us. All righty. Good morning, Eagles. And thank you, Ms. Shamley and our news anchors, our journalism class. They're doing a terrific job. And happy Tuesday. <laughs> Students, I just have a few reminders. First of all, I want to bring to your attention, each month we have a newsletter and it's on your Schoology page. So if you take a look at your Schoology page, there is a newsletter there, our October newsletter with lots of helpful information. 
One of the things I want to point out is our fall festival. Um, we're partnering with communities and schools, Mr. Green, the McKinney Vento team, and others to host a fall festival on October 29th from 5 to 7. We'll have a DJ, hot dogs, hamburgers, games, lots of fun. But one of the things I want to point out, students, we are starting our after school detention very soon. And students, please be mindful if your behavior is not up to par, administration has every right to remove you from fun events like the fall festival. Also, cell phones, I want to point out. For the most part, you're doing a terrific job, but again, we should not see cell phones in our halls. Administration will begin to confiscate, take cell phones and make them for parent pickup if we're seeing them in our halls. Again, put your cell phones away. You can use them at breakfast, at lunch, and in class with the teacher's permission. Also, videotaping. If we see that you're videotaping students or teachers on your cell phone, we will ban your using cell phones here at Elko. And this is serious. I will call you in my office with Officer Miller because you should not be videotaping students or teachers during the course of the school day. Finally, today we take the Virginia Growth Assessments. We simply ask you to do your very best. Please make us proud eagles. Be a proud eagle. Continue to respect yourselves, respect others, respect our property, and certainly respect the learning environment. Thank you, and let's make this a terrific Tuesday. That's all for our morning announcements. Please subscribe to our channel on YouTube at Elko Middle School. Thanks for listening, and we hope you have an amazing day.